Welcome back everyone to the official Quantum Resistant Ledger channel, your video portal in the post-quantum digital asset security. So the first week of April 2020 has been a very exciting one. With QRL 2.0 comes multi-signature transactions, support for an ephemeral messaging system, multiple improvements across different code suites, and of course the new RandomX proof of work protocol. We covered what RandomX was in a previous video, so if you haven't seen it, go ahead and jump back and review that. This video is gonna be for Windows users that wanna start mining Quanta right away. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step. Step. A list of pools can be found on our website at www.thequrl.org. And lengthy intros are annoying, so let's get down to it. All right, let's do a step-by-step walkthrough of how to start mining. Number one, if you have any antivirus software, you're going to want to go into it and make sure that you'll be able to uh, provide any whitelisting of programs or, tra or network traffic. In my case, I've got Norton 360 here as one of my firewalls. So we're gonna go into settings. Uh, first one would be antivirus. And these are gonna be different depending on which, uh, which manufacturer you use for virus protection. Uh, in this case, scans and risks, items to exclude from scans. So I'm excluding this from um, active scanning. Uh, the other thing is, is I'm gonna disable any of, any of these uh, advanced scanning features, which uh, sometimes have uh, heuristic learning algorithms or um, other types of detection to um, uh, uh, figure out if, you know, if your machine is infected. So I've also included that here. So that covers uh, uh, the antivirus side of things. You're also going to want to go, if you have a firewall, you're going to want to be uh, whitelist any of the pools that you intend on mining to. All right, so we'll go on here. We're just gonna generate a password because we're gonna create a new wallet. And I will put all of these links in the YouTube description video. So let's go to QRL wallet. I'm gonna take this password, control C copy. I'm gonna generate a new wallet here, here. Yes, of course, I will save the details on this page. And this is gonna be our public address that we're gonna use because uh, we need something to mine to. Next steps, we're gonna download XM Rig 5.1.0, uh, latest version. Uh, it's a good miner, I've had good experience with it. And we're just gonna download the standard uh, Win64 version. So let's download that and we'll save it. Okay. Well, what in the world? It came out as 0K. That doesn't seem right. Okay, so what happened here is Firefox um, did not like the program, so it automatically zeroed it out. So, switch over to trusted Google. We can trust Google, right? All right, here's XM rig under, under Google. Yeah, we'll just download this time. This should work. It's dangerous, so Chrome blocked it. Okay, that does not work at all. Microsoft, I mean, there's no way that Microsoft Edge would give us a better experience than uh, uh, Firefox and Chrome, is there? Let's find out. Save the finish downloading. We're gonna extract this. Extract it right here. Uh, this is uh, RAR Labs, one of my favorites. Or WinRAR. Okay, so here is the uh, folder for XM Rig. You can see we just extracted it here, it's right there. 
and all of the configuration is in this config.json file. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go to the QRL mining page. It's right here. We're gonna take the public address that we created. I'm gonna copy that to the clipboard. We're gonna paste that into here. So you can see how this updated automatically the file down here. If you look down here, watch. There, automatically updates that. So we're going to, this is the configuration that we need for the config.json file. So we're gonna copy that. We're gonna open up our trusty notepad. And all we're going to do is save as, let's do it this way. And we're going to go to all files because it can't, it's looking for a text file. It's not gonna be seeing anything that's not a text file. And we're just going to overwrite this config.json uh, file like that. Just replace it. And then we're gonna go back to our install. And that should be it. When you do this, right click, run as administrator. Let's try it the other way first. If I just click it, you can see that um, there's a restriction here on uh, MSR registers, admin privileges are required. And if you haven't executed before, you'll sometimes have problems with huge page support. This can be a difference of 30%, 40% hash rate. So when you do this, you with those two put together, when you do this, you automatically want to just run it as administrator every time, just to be safe. And now you can see that the register values are green, green equals happy, huge page support. These two metrics right here are very important. So if you push H on your keyboard, you can see your hash rate. And that's it, you're mining. A couple other different ways that you could approach mining. Let's say you had multiple pools and you didn't wanna be bouncing back and forth between config files. And let's just say you had multiple miners. So oh, there's a hydrogen miner and a helium miner. So let's go to the let's go to the configuration files for the hydrogen miner and under each one of these you can have a different config.json file for each pool. And you can do the same thing, have a different config.json file per pool for a miner. And in the file the password here, you can change that from X to your um, computer name or miner name of what you want to call it so you can keep track of it on the mining pool. X is just fine. You can keep it that way if you want, but if you want to be able to separate, separate out hash rates uh, on the mining pool, you would change it to something like that. Um, and this is, a, this is a real easy way to just be able to switch between pools quickly. Uh, if there's an XM rig upgrade, you can typically just extract the new ver extract the new version and overwrite every file except for the config.json uh, file and that will automatically uh, upgrade the mining executable but leave the configuration intact. Uh, so that's it. Okay, so hope those steps were helpful. Here's a few bullet points to remember. If you can, tune your RAM above 2133 megahertz Nearly all modern DDR RAM out there is now designed for a faster clock speed. Um, there are some discussions on Discord and lots of videos on YouTube on how to do this. CPU clock speed. CPU clock speed is important, but not at the cost of stability. If you overclock your CPU and the system becomes unstable, any gains you would have, been, have received from a higher clock rate will be lost when you come back and find out that your PC went on holiday or PTO and didn't tell you about it first. 
This can be upsetting, so remember to always run some sort of utility to stress test the CPU and the RAM if you decide to run either of those past just the standard recommended uh, uh, frequencies from the manufacturer. And of course, don't forget to run a node. It's super easy to get one up and running, supports the project, and takes up hardly any system CPU resources. One last thing, if you have any questions, ask. You can reach out to me for mining questions as well on Discord. I'm Strike Attack, uh, number 8102, uh, with any questions that you have. I do do my best to answer the mining questions and other questions that I get. Thanks for watching. Happy mining.